Hello, it's Lauren. So today I'm going to be talking about a brand that I've been teasing for a while on my Instagram, and that is Trish McAvoy. I really wanted to try this brand for a few reasons, one of which they happen to have a refillable compact, which is something that I've been looking for. Trish McAvoy is known more for their makeup planners where you have pages and you have um, refillable pans that you can pop into those. But the reason why I wanted to review Trish McAvoy, first and foremost, I don't feel like it's a brand that is trending necessarily. Trish McAvoy has been around since 1975. She developed this brand with her husband who is a dermatologist. They worked in a med spa together and Trish McAvoy actually has skincare products too, which I haven't tried. Um, and this is a solely a makeup focused review today, but hopefully at some point I'll try some of her skincare because her products are just like so good. Okay, so I was really, really interested in learning more about the brand. So I actually purchased her book, which is The Makeup of a Confident Woman. I've read this from cover to cover. I really feel like I align with her philosophy of putting on makeup to kind of build that confidence within yourself as a boost before you go out in the world. I think that when we wear a little bit of makeup, we carry ourselves a little bit differently, we show up differently, we feel differently, and that can really translate into how we are perceived as more confident. So I have basically everything to do a full face. There are a few small gaps uh, because of supply chain issues, but I really want to be able to give you a very comprehensive review of the entire line. And the other thing I will say about Trish McAvoy that I actually appreciate quite a bit, I don't feel like they do a ton of PR. I feel like it's pretty rare to see people that have been gifted products by Trish McAvoy. So I want to point out that all of the products that you see here today, I did purchase myself um, because I am genuinely interested in the brand and I really wanted to have these things in my collection to streamline my morning routine. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first product I'm going to be talking about today is really the one that sort of kicked off my interest in Trish McAvoy um, this time around. I've tried their mascara years ago and then I remembered after I got it again um, that I had had it. So the first product we're going to talk about is the Instant Eye Lift. This comes in three different shades and it's $46. It banishes the look of darkness and fatigue. Now, the one thing I will say as I start applying this that frustrates me a little bit with Trish McAvoy and a lot of like luxury brands in general is that I feel like the shade range is very minimal and I don't think it should be. So Trish's philosophy with using this type of product is to create the under eye triangle. Now I try to do it a little bit lighter on this outer edge just because we tend to get more crinkling there when we smile and that sort of thing and I'll do like a little dot in there. Um, but I try not to flood the outer corners of my eye where it crinkles with a ton of product. So I really try to go directly on that seam with this product. This is not a concealer per se, it is an eye brightener. So I really try to lighten up the more dark hollow spaces a bit more heavily and then a little bit lighter on that outer edge. And sometimes even if I have any discoloration or darkness, I use this product almost like a highlight to lift that shadow out. I feel like it doesn't look super heavy or cakey ever, and that's why I really like this. The other thing I will add about this product is that you do want to make sure that you have a well moisturized canvas underneath because I feel like when it is not well prepped, it can almost look a little dry. I also picked up a few of Trish McAvoy's brushes. This is the flat foundation. They call this the classic foundation brush, and this is $48. Trish McAvoy is definitely like a luxury brand. You find this at Neiman Marcus, you find this at Nordstrom, you find it on their website, but you don't see this in a ton of retailers. You're not going to find it in Sephora. You're not going to find it in Ulta. There is a little bit of um, exclusivity with their retailers, but I do. I love this product. I feel like it really does brighten up my complexion and it makes me not need as much other makeup on top of it. And I really appreciate that. 
because this is not like a true concealer, I can understand why there's only three shades, but I will say from the rest of their line on their um, base, like foundations and concealers and things like that, they really do not have a big range. And even, I will say, even as a more fair-skinned woman, it was a little difficult, like trying to choose shades because I feel like I'm kind of in between shades. I feel like they need to really fill in and expand. Even if they don't do a huge one, adding a few extra shades would be extremely helpful. All right, instant eye brightener. You can really tell that really did lift out those shadows and that hollowness. It's not heavy or cakey. I just really appreciate this product a lot. I will go in now with a non-Trish product just for a second because I'll be honest, they have their concealers with like the sponge tip applicators that you like dab on. And I don't know why, I just don't ever like that type of applicator. So that's why I did not get one of those. This is just a little bit of Lancome Tante Doll, their all over concealer. I think this is actually a newer launch and it's fantastic. It is like a very uh, serum-y type concealer and it doesn't get really heavy or cakey, but it gives you a lot of coverage and I really appreciate that. Let me get this on real quick. Just cancel out a little bit more of my discoloration and redness where I need to while still keeping my base very light. I like to bring a little bit of concealer up on my nose because I do get a little bit red around the bridge of my nose. I always have. And then just to even things out a bit more through here. I had a few little acne pigmentation marks left. So there we go. Okay. Now moving on to the next Trish product. This one is really what I got so excited about when I was purchasing from Trish because so few companies have a really nice refillable compact. One of the things that I've noticed is that so many brands right now are making like these pressed paper compacts and then they're charging almost $30 for them. And that's ridiculous in my opinion. I'm like, that's worth like $5, not almost 30. So I started looking um, and I realized that Trish actually makes these little double decker compacts. And then there's also one that's about half this big. So what's special about this is that you can refill it with whatever products you want, as long as they're going to fit inside of this compact. The Makeup Wardrobing Deluxe Refillable Compact 2, this is $38. And it comes with these little inserts that pop out. And there's several different ones. Let me actually go grab those so I can show you. So it comes with several different configurations. You could do eight of her eyeshadows. You could do one of the bigger pans like the bronzer or the powder foundation and some eyeshadows. Or this is how I set mine up where I have in this very top compartment, you've got your mirror. And I did the mineral powder foundation and then I did a bronzer and I didn't use one of the pre-made inserts. And then on the bottom one, that's where I did my blush and then I did six eyeshadows. These are technically like the blush pans, but two eyeshadows will fit in them. And so I found like, I feel like this is the best setup for my needs personally. One of the products that I have really, really enjoyed and I have noticed a big transformation in my skin is from the Even Skin Mineral Powder Foundation Refill. Um, this is $38 and there are Four shades available. They really need to work on that shade range because that is, I get that it's a sheer product, but still four powders is not a lot <laughs> to choose from. And mine is the shade, I believe it got nude. Yes, nude. And you can see the nice thing about all of these, they have that stamped on the back. So you can always tell what it is that you're using. So it's supposed to blur pores, absorb oil, and even skin tone. And then I also picked up her brush. This is the brush number 20, the face blender, and this is $63. Her brushes are not cheap, but they are really, really good. Okay, so this is a nice like rounded flat top brush. I like to swirl this in here really, really well. Get a good coating of that product on here. Now, I use this all over my face and usually what I will do is I will start by kind of dotting it on. And the reason being, if I have a good dose of skincare products like my sunscreen and stuff like that, I have found that pressing it in first 
and then going back and sweeping is the best method of application so you don't get a big blotch on your sunscreen. But this product has really been a game changer for my skin. I have really realized that saying of like your 30s are like your second puberty to be very true. <laughs> I've had a lot of issues more recently in my 30s with my pores just always seeming full and blocked and then it leads to breakouts. So I started thinking a lot about like what am I doing now that is so different from my early 20s. And I realized a big part of that is that I am using a ton of liquid products, cream products, things that are sitting on top of your skin a bit more heavily than powder, which I used to use like the MAC Studio Fix, which I actually, I have right now. Um, I love that stuff. It's really a fantastic product if you're looking for more coverage. This Trish is more sheer, um, but it gives you just like the prettiest blur. It doesn't emphasize texture. And so I found since I've been using this powder, my pores are not filling up with sebum and oil and dirt the way that they had been before. And because of that, I have found my skin looks more even and clear and I'm not breaking out as much. So I've really enjoyed switching back to more of like a powder coverage. And the other thing that I will add about using a powder, a mineral powder foundation is that it's not gonna fill your pores up, but it also is not going to emphasize your pores and texture. Sometimes what happens when you're using a liquid or a cream foundation, because of the emollients in that, it can sit on the skin around your pore and almost highlight it and make the pore look darker and more recessed. And so I find that with a mineral, a powder, it's more of that satiny matte type of finish and it doesn't emphasize your pores the same way that liquids and creams can. I am really, I'm like all in on this whole like powder foundation journey. It's been so good for my skin. I like her product. I wish it had maybe a tiny bit more coverage, but the one thing I will say, I always think that to myself, but then when I take a step back and I look at my face, I think, man, my skin looks really good. So I don't know. I mean, I think on one hand, I would like it to have more coverage, but then at the same time, it's kind of perfect the way that it is. I think I'm just used to using products that have more coverage and sometimes we don't necessarily need that. It's really a beautiful product and I love this brush. Fantastic brush. The next product we're gonna talk about is the Bronzer Refill. There are two shades of this and I have the one that is just called Matte. Um, and this is supposed to be a buildable bronzer to give you some more definition to your face. And so I really like this. Again, they need more shades than just two. But if you are on the fairer side, I think that this is a really nice option. It kind of looks like cocoa. Um, this is $34. So I'm going to use my Coyuto Premium. It's a Coyuto Premium blush brush. These are kind of hard to find now. They had them on Beautylish and then they kind of like took away their premium series, but you can still find Coyuto brushes on Beautylish to the best of my knowledge. So I like to go around the edges of my face and go a little bit through here. And you can tell even just from one side to the other, there is a difference. Something that I have noticed with more luxury brands compared to a lot of others is that Sometimes it will feel like the pigmentation is not as intense as some other lines, but I always find my makeup ends up looking flawless. Sometimes having a more sheer application can give you a more professional looking application because you are less likely to make a big blotch of color that is hard to blend out. The experience of using Trish products is really pretty enjoyable and I find that I get really excited to put my makeup on because it's easy to work with and I feel like my skin always looks its best. I look fresh and put together. So now we're going to move into the more fun, colorful portion of the compact. So the blush refills, there are four shades. These are $28 and I have the shade Pink Glow which it kind of reminds me of like NARS Orgasm, but slightly less peachy. 
And the other thing I will say about this, and I'll do a little swatch on here so you can maybe see, it can be kind of hard to see depending on the lighting. Pink Glow does have a little bit of a golden shimmer to it. I find that it's not super obvious unless I am in sunlight and then I can see the more reflective particles. Otherwise, I feel like it gives you more of a diffused glow. This is one of their more shimmery blushes out of the line. They have another shade. It's more of like a mauve type shade that I really wanted to get, but they were out of it. So I decided to get this one and I'm using a really old Japanesque brush. I've had this since college. Sadly, Japanesque has changed their brushes a bit and they are not the same quality that they used to be, but I've had this brush for like 14 years, a long time, <laughs> 13 or 14 years. So here is Pink Glow. And what I actually really like about this is it does have that little subtle reflecting property to it. I don't feel like I need an additional highlighter when I wear this. And the other thing that this has really reminded me is that if you want a long lasting blush, get a powder blush. This literally, it looks almost exactly the same at the end of the day as when I put it on. <laughs> it's such a great blush. You do get a pretty good amount of pigmentation out of it. I just love how this shade in particular really does seem to wake up my complexion. I look rosy and fresh. Um, I do think this shade in particular is a bit deeper than some of the other ones. So you do need a little bit of a lighter touch than you would with like the mauve shade that I wanted. But I do like this color a lot. It's very pretty. And I know that it kind of looks like a lot right now, but if you ever feel like your blush looks like too much, take your powder brush and kind of sweep over the edges to tone it down a bit. And that can really just kind of just lightly bring you back down a bit. So now we have all of the Trish eyeshadows. These are the Glaze eyeshadow refills. They are $20 each, which yes, is steep. However, I do feel like you don't need a ton of the product to get good color payoff and you get to build your own compact. So whenever I run out of any of these shades, I can buy a refill and pop it in or say I want to change my shades, I can switch them out anytime I want. So um, the shades that I have, this is White Peach, which is like a kind of a champagne-y sort of shade. Let me see if I can brighten that up for you. Where is it? There we go. It's just a very soft, kind of a neutrally typed shade. The next one is Rose Quartz, which is this pan right here. And I feel like it's almost a bit lilac-y, kind of rosy in comparison. It doesn't look like a big difference on my arm, but on my eyes, it does translate quite a bit differently. The next shade is Cafe Latte, which is a matte shade. I think online they have it listed wrong because they said it's a shimmer. It's definitely not shimmery, it's matte. This is a great crease color on someone like myself who is a bit more fair. The next shade here, this is Topaz, which is a bit warmer, deeper, and has that shimmer. You can see the comparison difference there. And then this next shade I was super excited about. This is their more like glitzy shade, and this is called Dreamer. I love this on the center of my eyelid. Look at that. That is so pretty. I love that shade so much. And then the final shade that I got is called Confident, and it's more of this kind of like brownish purpley matte shade. This is great for a crease color, or if you want to, you can use it like an eyeliner, which is typically what I do. So I'm going to wipe this stuff off of my arm so I don't get it everywhere. But you can see that the color palette that I chose is very soft, very neutral. I do have that deeper shade so I can really build it up if I want to. And then also having that kind of glitzy shade gives you some options if you want to kick it up for evening time. So for today's look, I'm going to sort of build my like classic everyday look that I have been doing a lot lately. And so I have been using the shade Rose Quartz. This is also a Cuyuto premium brush. This is one of the, um, I think it's the medium eye brush. And so I'd like to sweep this all over my lid. It just gives me a really nice base. There's a little bit of that rosy hint. I actually feel like Rose Quartz pulls almost a little more lilac-y on my skin, and I really like that with my green eyes. 
And then I'll do that on the other eye. This eye look has been so simple, but much like her powder uh, blush, I feel like her eyeshadows do not crease on me. They wear really well. They're easy to blend. There's not a ton of fallout. It's really just a classic, easy formula to use. And I think if you are like me and you are kind of on the go, you have things to do, you can't spend all day just like sitting and perfecting like this tiny area, this is the perfect type of formula. So now I'm gonna use the shade Cafe Latte on a slightly bigger Coyuto Premium. And I'm gonna go right above where that Rose Quartz shade was just so we get some definition through my crease. After I apply it on this eye, you'll really be able, be able to see the difference from this eye to this eye. It's, it's a nice, subtle way to enhance your eye. And sometimes I'll even take this shade, I'm just gonna pinch my brush to make it a little more flat, pick up a little more of that product, and go just directly beneath my lower lash line. This is a very soft way to bring even more definition to your eye. I love using a fluffy brush for application because if you are in a hurry, it's very forgiving. All right, do a little more right there. Doot, doot. Now, moving on, I'm going to take my finger and I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of Dreamer, like so. And I'm gonna pop that in the center of my lid space just for a little bit of extra reflection. And it sort of brings the light and the attention directly above the center of your iris. And I really like that, especially as someone with a less visible lid space, even just that little bit really brightens up that area around my eyes. I haven't been wearing eyeliner as much on my top lids and I feel like it really flatters my eye shape more. If I do wear eyeliner up on the top, it tends to be on this outer edge that you don't see as much anyway. Look at that, such a pretty shade. I love that shade so much. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white peach. This is a Sigma brush. This is like one of their mini traveler type brushes. And I'd like to put this right here for a little bit of extra brightness right on the corner of my tear duct. Just catches the light a little bit more. And I'll take a little tiny bit of that also just directly underneath the brow bone. This has some shimmer, but it's not blinding. And so I really like how it catches the light. You can see just a little bit. It's a subtle enhancement, but it's very pretty. Again, we'll just do the same thing right there. And then I'm going to finish out today's look by using Confident. This is also a Trish brush. This is the number 68 Everything Eye Brush and it was $25. I thought it was going to be different than it actually is. It's like a, you look at it this way, it's like a rounded brush that's a cut off slant. I thought from the picture that they posted, it looked more like a kind of like a liner brush, but it didn't look as wide or as big as their like slanted liner brush. And so I really wanted this one because it was more petite, but it's a different shape than I thought it would be. However, I do appreciate this brush for what it can do because you have that flat surface, you're able to dip directly in and pick up product that way and pack it on. So like the shade Dreamer, it's great for that. It's also, because it does have that angle and some edges, you can use it like a liner brush still. So I'm not mad about it. It's just different than what I thought it was based on their pictures online. So I'm gonna take the shade Confident and I kind of use the edge of this little brush and then I'll take whatever side that's on and then I will find my outer corner and sort of stamp in here like that. And I don't really go past the center of my eye. I kind of stick to that outer edge and I like to flick that up just a bit. And this shade, I, like I said earlier, look at that. It just makes my lashes look a bit fuller, makes my eye look a little bit more elongated. I'm going to use a brush to fluff off 
This had a little tiny bit of fallout from that one, but not too bad. Just fluff that off. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. It's almost like a, like a raisin kind of color. And I really like this shade with my eye color. If you have green eyes, definitely pick this shade up. Very soft, easy way to define your eyes though. Very quick. I really like that. I like quick. I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush and just pull a little bit on that bottom outer corner of my lashes. Again, it kind of helps to open up the eyes. Now, the problem that I have with Trisha's brow products is that they only have one shade and it's like a universal shade, but I have enough warmth to my hair that if I use a really cool tone product, I find that it looks a bit strange. So I'm going to fill my brows off camera and then we'll come and talk about the final product that I have from Trish and then we'll sort of round out final thoughts, that sort of thing. If you have auburn hair and you're looking for a natural looking brow combination, I really like using MAC Saddle to fill the tails and the more sparse areas of my brows. And then I go back in with Benefit Give Me Brow in, um, I think it's 3.5, which is like their auburn shade. And I just sort of fluff it through. And I have really enjoyed this particular combination with my hair, which is like a level six-ish auburny type shade. So let's talk about the last Trish product uh, of this video review. So it is her mascara. Now, I, I've struggled a bit with her mascaras and it's not because they're bad. It's just, I feel like tubing formulas have improved in their application process over the years. I do think that Trish is one of the first major makeup retailers that had a tubing mascara. Um, I know that this was the first luxury tubing mascara that I ever used. So the first one that I ever used was her high volume. And I've come to realize I don't really love this mascara. And here is why. This brush is incredibly small, which I don't mind a small brush, but I find that this brush in particular, when I try to sweep it through my lashes, it doesn't adequately coat the very tips, the really fine sparse tips of my eyelashes. I will actually put a picture here and you can see at the very tips, they look almost blonde. For some reason, this formula just really does not want to coat those lashes. And if you try to build that mascara up, it starts sticking your lashes together. So that was what I was saying about how I feel like tubing formulas have become more sophisticated in recent years. The other tubing mascara that I have from Trish McAvoy is the Lash Curling Mascara. This one I prefer out of the two. Again, they're just not my favorite mascaras, but I do like this one over the high volume one because it adequately coats my lashes. The one problem I have with this mascara though is the very base of it right there gets super clumpy and it's just like the tube does not pull off enough of that product when you take it out. So I always try to get that little bit off of there so that I don't get like a giant clump of mascara on my lashes. So this mascara, I don't really need to curl my lashes before I use it. I feel like, like the high volume mascara, you can't go in super heavy handed because it does have a sort of sticky formula. And I, you know, it's, but it's a great wearing mascara and I feel like it does give me some lift and volume. And if you use it sparingly, you'll have a really pretty sort of natural lash look that will last all day. But I'm just so used to building and building and building my lashes that this formula, it's just a bit sticky in my opinion. But if you look at that, that's really pretty. It's a very pretty natural sort of lash. Which maybe I should get used to that because it actually looks really good. <laughs> I didn't re-dip, I'm just using what's left on here. Because like I mentioned, this, oh, I got into my hair. This brush does pick up quite a bit of product and doesn't wipe it off. If you're new to tubing formulas and you don't really understand what it is that I'm talking about, 
tubing formulas, you don't use a makeup remover to remove them. You use just warm water and you sort of massage your lashes with that warm water and it will slip off in little tubes and you don't end up with that like mascara panda eye situation after you take your makeup off. You're not gonna ruin a bunch of hand towels and that sort of thing. I like this brush because it's thin enough for me to get in on my lower lashes. All right, so there is the Lash Curling Mascara. It's very, very pretty. I think I'm just so used to being able to keep coating a bit more to get more drama than you can get with this. I love the brush. I love the wear of this. I think if you like a more natural lash look, this is a beautiful mascara. I do think that it is a more sticky formula. So if you are more used to mascaras like Cali Ray or Victoria Beckham Beauty, which are like some of my top go-tos for tubing mascaras. Those allow you to build a bit more without them sticking your lashes together. This will definitely start to stick them together if you build, you know, a little more aggressively than I did today. But it is a beautiful mascara and it wears phenomenally. So I don't know, I think maybe I should get in on the more casual mascara look train. It's really pretty. <laughs> Definitely my favorite out of the two though. I don't really like the high volume one. It just doesn't build appropriately on my lashes for a $34 mascara. <laughs> I think if you have shorter lashes or you don't necessarily have like a lot of those blonde tips on your lashes and you like a really tiny wand, you might like the high volume one more than this. But personally, this is my go-to out of those. Now the big problem that I ran into while trying to get products for this video is that most of Trisha's lip products are not in stock in stores. Like they've had really big supply chain issues. And I actually reached out to their um, customer service team on Instagram and kind of asked them like, hey, where can I find your lip gloss? It's not in store anywhere. It's not on your website. And they said, Amazon, uh, this might be kind of shocking to some of you, but I don't really use Amazon. We used to have Prime and then we got rid of it. And I was like, I'm not going to order a lip gloss on Amazon for this video. Like I'm just, I'm not doing that. So their lip gloss formula seems extremely nice. Um, but I don't have that here to show you, which is a bit of a bummer. <laughs> so I'm going to put on some lip product and then we'll talk final thoughts. For my lips, I used the Lancome Bronze Liner, which I really love. It's a very sort of nudie mauve pink kind of color and I feel like it's a little bit deeper than my natural lips so I think it's a fantastic liner for me especially and then I use the Dior Addict Rose Devant 422 lipstick I feel like this is more like a lip gloss formula I actually don't love this formula but I love the color it's just a little too slippery for my preference and I feel like it wears off a little bit too quickly but it looks very pretty on the lips when it's there um, so let's talk kind of final thoughts on Trish McAvoy. I love Trish McAvoy products. I really, really do. I think that if you are like me and you really want to simplify your morning routine, getting this little like double decker, you really can fit almost an entire face of products in here. You have options with your eyeshadows. You can pick and build it out the way that you want. The other thing that I will say is that because this little compact, you don't have to have the little pre-made inserts. If you're just looking for a rather petite kind of travel palette that you can fill with whatever products that you have, this is a great option. It's $38. It is plastic, but the outer edges of this are like that hard, nice plastic that's not going to fall apart and get beat up in your makeup case. These little inserts are, I feel like, a little lighter weight and more flimsy, but truthfully, these are not getting beat up and banged around the way that the outer case it would be. So I think this is a fantastic option if you're looking for a refillable palette. And if you're like me and you really wanna try some Trish McAvoy 
they do fit in here very nicely. Makes it very organized and put together. And I just think that her products, the performance on her products is fantastic. Like the fact that my makeup looks almost identical to when I put it on without any sort of primer or setting spray, I think speaks volumes to the quality of her products. I really appreciate Trish McAvoy's approach to makeup. She, in her book, where is her book? Here it is. In her book, she gives you some different ways to like bump up a look, for instance. So like she has different levels of makeup depending on what you like to do. So say you are more minimalist, she's gonna give you how to build a makeup look level one. If you like to pump it up a bit more, and I think I fall more into this category, the level two, she's gonna show you different ways to build that up a bit more. And if you are real glam, she's gonna show you looks where you add lashes and things like that. But what I like so much about her approach to makeup, this woman still looks like her, but just a more elevated, sophisticated look. Um, this book, I think it retails for $30 new. I purchased mine from thriftbooks.com for $4. So if you're interested in getting a nice hardcover book like that, definitely look at thrift books. I'm just going to throw that out there. You don't have to pay bukus for like a book. Um, but yeah, I love Trish products. I really like that it's a company that has been around for a long period of time. I think at least for me in today's makeup climate, seeing some longevity in a brand that has been around for a while and isn't just constantly pumping out new products, that is actually very appealing to me. I personally really like that. I, I like the fact that it's not just constantly creating more waste and being trendy to sell products. I like that there is that longevity there and there's the history there and there's a purpose for the products that she makes. It's not just because XYZ brand is doing it, this other brand is doing it, and they want to jump in on the cash grab. Um, I really appreciate that, and I love that it's organized and streamlined. I do think they could stand to improve their shade ranges exponentially, like on their face products. Um, their mascara is really beautiful, as long as you like something a bit more natural looking. If you want something a bit more dramatic, I would grab something like a Kelly Ray because you can really kind of keep coating for a minute and really build up those lashes a bit more than you can with the Trish Mascara. But the Trish Mascara is really beautiful. I just prefer the lash curling formula. And I really like her brushes. I think they're a really nice quality and they feel like they will last for a long time. They are synthetic bristles. Um, so if that is something that you are interested in, definitely give her brushes a look. I feel my best when I have her makeup on. There, I said it. Like, I have noticed I have not been reaching into my big makeup box with all of my other products. I have almost solely been using Trish McAvoy and I have seen a big improvement in my skin. My routine is a lot quicker than when you're digging around trying to find a bunch of products. And if you are someone who travels, something like this is fantastic. Um, yeah, I am all in on the Trish train. <laughs> that is my, my spiel. I love Trish McAvoy products. They help me feel put together and pretty and still like me. And I look fantastic all day long. So if you are just looking for a brand that is not necessarily like trendy, but it actually works really well, give Trish McAvoy a look. I will put a link down in the description box with my shop and I have all of these Trish products in there for you to shop if you're interested in supporting me in a way that doesn't cost you any extra. But again, only if you are looking to purchase these products and you're interested in supporting me, there's absolutely no pressure. Um, I just really enjoy her products. I love that she doesn't send out a ton of PR. I think that is actually a testament to the fact that she strongly believes in her own products and brand and she doesn't need people to push them for her. So pretty great line overall. I love how my makeup looks. Oh, it just looks so good all the time. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a little thumbs up. That helps other people to find my channel and this video. And if you wanna see more of these types of reviews from me, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.